points A, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, B, 4, 3, 0, C, 4, 5, 4, and D, 0, 2, 3, join to form a trapezium. Find which two sides are parallel. What can you say about these two sides? Right, what we need to do is write these uh, coordinates as column vectors. So writing them as co uh, uh, position vectors in column vector form. So OA is going to be minus 4, minus 3, minus 2. Minus 4, minus 3, minus 2. OB is going to be 4, 3, 0. And OC is going to be 4, 5, 4. And OD is going to be 0, 2, 3. Right, we need to find uh, length vectors AB, BC, CD, and DA. So AB is AO plus OB. Now, why that is so, let's have a look at this diagram. There's a set of 3D axes x this way, y going into the page, z upwards. If we mark on uh, position a roughly in the right place, and this vector here is called vector OA, and then this point over here, b, then this vector here is OB, and then going from a to b is called the vector AB. Now, if I want to go a to b, I have to go a to o against the arrow of OA, and with the arrow of OB. Hence we write this down. It's very, very important that you write this step down. So that means in the first all these, the sign will need to change. So we get 4, 3, 2, plus these the sign stays the same, 4, 3, 0. So we get 4 plus 4, which is 8, 3 plus 3, which is 6, and 2 plus 0, which is 2. Now we'll now repeat that process. BC will be BO plus OC, so all the signs will change on these. Zero sign doesn't change. So we get minus 4, minus 3, 0, changing the signs of the first two. Adding C to it, which is 4, 5, 4. Minus 4 plus 4 gives me 0. Minus 3 plus 5 gives me 2. 0 plus 4 gives me 4. We get the vector 0, 2, 4. Now repeating it for CD, so we're just going around. CD will be CO plus OD, so we'll change the sign of these. So we're going to get minus 4, minus 5, minus 4, plus OD, which is O, 2, 3. Minus 4 plus 0 is minus 4. Minus 5 plus 2, which is minus 3. Minus 4 plus 3, which is minus 1. And then we'll repeat that for DA. So the sign of this one will change, so 0 will stay the same. 0, minus 2, minus 3, plus minus 4, minus 3, minus 2. So it's going to give me minus 4, minus 5, and minus 5. Right, now we need to look at these. And if we look at this one here and this one here closely, we'll see that this one, this one, sorry, is minus 2 times this one. Or, looking the other way around, this one is minus a half times this one. It doesn't matter which way you, you say it. So these two here, because we've got that process, A, B, and C, D, and, and we can say that 8, 6, 2 is minus 2 times minus 4, minus 3, minus 1, then these two vectors, A, B, and C, D, are parallel because one is just a multiple of the other. Okay? We could have said that this one is minus a half times this one. So what we said here is that AB is minus 2 times CD. And if that is true, then AB and CD are parallel. This means that AB is parallel to CD. And because we've got a 2, it doesn't matter whether it's minus 2, then we can say that the side AB is twice as long as side CD. Okay, in general, if, two, if for two vectors u and v to be parallel, then 1, u, has to be some number, lambda we call it, times the other one. In this case, lambda was minus 2, so one vector must be a multiple of the other. Lambda could be a fraction, negative, or positive number. Now, we can look at this um, applet, we can look at this in uh, a GeoAlgebra applet. What we can see here, here, we can see our trapezium in three dimensions. Okay, can move it around a little bit. You can have a look at it in different angles. Okay, but what we can definitely see, probably from the diagram, is that AB is parallel to 
CD, okay? All right, and in fact, this length here is half the length of this one here. That's what it means, okay? That's our answer to that. So AB is, is parallel to DC and twice as long. Okay, we can move this around. We can look at it from different angles. Okay, this applet I will attach to the video and you will be able to uh, look at it yourself, in, even in 3D, using 3D glasses if you have them. You need red sign glasses. Okay, I hope this was useful. This has been a video to show you the condition for parallel vectors. Thank you very much for watching.